Hey everybody, this is Doby, putting up a quick video on how I learned to speak Tagalog. Getting a lot of requests, people like to know what I did to speak Tagalog, what books I've used. Uh, I'll try to go through this pretty fast, hopefully it's not too fast, okay? But the way I looked at it was to be understood and to understand, you need a vocabulary. Bought a bunch of dictionaries, I wrote on paper 20 words a week, after a while, I wasn't able to retain 20 words. I had to drop it down to 15. And after around six months or eight months, I dropped it down to 10 words a week. Did that for three years, maybe three and a half years. And of course, you can do the math. That's a lot of words. On Sunday, I wrote three to five sentences for each of those Tagalog words. You can imagine that took a long time. Two to four hours in Starbucks every Sunday. Uh, on a weekly basis, I'm not sure what it was, two to four hours, I would rent a video watch uh, the uh, Filipino channel. In order to understand, you really need to listen to words, get the words flowing. And I mean, some people say they've learned in three months or six months Tagalog, but sure, you learned a, a certain amount. To be really fluent and to understand what's coming at you, uh, vocabulary, and just watch as much as you can on the TV. Just let the words sink in. Can't rush anything. It's a long endeavor. Plan on it taking a couple years, and and you have a lot more fun. Another thing is uh, quick wins, phrases. You won't understand all the words in the beginning, but just learn a phrase. I'm cold. I'm hot. It's raining outside. Can I have a glass of water? Um, a lot of books have phrases in the back, and probably a lot of people have already know this. You can learn those phrases, and it's easy to apply at a party or or whatever. Uh, you can just keep practicing those. The more you practice, the more your tongue gets used to uh, the pronunciation, the breaking up of the syllables and whatnot. So I guess that's kind of it in a nutshell. Uh, what I'll do now is just kind of, I've got a lot of books um, that I kind of incorporated into, into my learning. Um, so I got a tape. A uh, tape was really good because I can listen and mimic the way that they're pronouncing the words. The tape also came, this is a language 30. I'm sure there's a lot of stuff out there now. And, uh, and here it's actually got all these phrases. Would you like me to come, or would you like to come to my house for lunch? A lot of phrases, a lot of phrases. And it has the Tagalog words in there. So that's a, that's a real quick win. Um, these books are not in any order. I also um, got like a, a daily uh, food for thought, if you will. It's kind of like uh, parts of the Bible, New Testament, every day. Um, granted, I didn't understand any of this, um, and I actually got this probably after, I have no idea, six months, a year of, uh, of practicing. I just read this in, in the morning before I go to work, having breakfast, and try to do my best on pronouncing it, call up some friends, Filipino friends, read it to them. Of course, I was really slow. They were patient. They'd help me with the pronunciation. This is all before I got married. Oh, here's a small dictionary, nice pocket dictionary, lots of words you can go through. A lot of dictionaries have maybe the first half Tagalog words with English meaning, the second half English words with the Tagalog word and meaning. Uh, one of my books I used quite a bit, this is um, Tagalog English, I'm not sure if you can see this. Again, go on the web, you can get all kinds of stuff, even for free, you don't even have to pay for it like I did. This is actually has a mixture, um, let me look at it real quick. Maybe it is all, nope, this is just basically a dictionary. In the beginning, it has just a small few pages about um, verb usage, ka, mag, nag, um, various things in that. So again, spend a lot of time at home and Starbucks. Here's another dictionary. A lot of dictionaries, I think what you do, especially if you can go to bookstores, you can actually make sure that uh, they have English in Tagalog and some phrases, uh, quick win phrases. And another thing, uh, one of the books coming up, they'll, they actually have some programs and lessons. So they'll go over how to use um, the different types of verb usages. Because you can learn the root word, but you can attach so much to the beginning, the middle, and the end of that root word and change the meaning all around. That takes time. Uh, you just got to go to parties, talk with friends, incorporate all kinds of stuff. Eventually, I got into, um, actually, when I went to the Philippines, one of, one of the times, I don't remember which time, bought a couple books. Just got a couple novels. And again, this also was to help with um, the speaking part and pronunciation. 
So I could re practice reading these out loud, read them at night before I go to bed. In the beginning, or even now, I probably don't understand actually uh, um, absolutely everything, but it's just something you gotta you gotta dedicate yourself to on a daily basis. If you have someone who can speak Tagalog to you um, every day, then you know that'd be great. If not, try to find a friend, call him on the phone, him or her, a couple of times a week. Go to Filipino parties. Um, anyway, just some more books. Comic books are great, and I get. You could use a dictionary to translate it. A lot of them, when in the beginning, I didn't translate it at all. It wasn't really my uh, my goal to understand what I was reading. I just wanted to try to pronounce the words. I knew as my vocabulary came along, built up, I could go back and read them, which I have. And uh, got a New Testament here. This one actually is pretty nice because it has English on one side and Tagalog on the other. Very nice book. This is also one that I read in the morning. So I think I, the other one was a year, and I think I might have took six months to a year on this one. So all of this stuff I did for three and a half years. Once I got married, uh, my uh, work schedules taken off, my working out, my martial arts, you know, I spend a lot of hours just being, pro being productive and efficient with um, doing everything. Kind of goes by, this is um, really hard to put in time to learn Tagalog. So I just try to do it through speaking now instead of studying. Here's a huge book I bought at a bookstore. Very big. What I found with uh, using this one, and this is uh, there's a lot of Tagalog words in here, um, a lot of deep Tagalog. So it's really good if you take your paper, weekly vocabulary, if you will, ask a friend about the words, and find out if they're used. So I used to call books Aklat. Books are not really referred to as aklat, though aklat is the Tagalog word. Uh, a lot of Spanish words are um, influenced in, inside the Tagalog um, language. So libro is what you call most most people refer to the books as. Uh, well, I'm getting a big pile here. Anyway, this is another com uh, book which was one of my favorites for learning the conversational Tagalog. A lot of lesson plans in here. As you can see, um, I'll try to go in, but they got a bunch of commands, English commands, quick win phrases, if you will, and even some little um, exercises in here. So, okay, where am I now? Ah, so what I did, and actually I, I still have it. So I got a binder. This is kind of what I took with me here, this binder, and uh, I actually broke it up into sections. So. I don't really remember this. I didn't really go to go through this before uh, before recording. So here are my Tagalog words right here. Tagalog and English. This is this is these are the papers I carried with me. I actually have the dates on here as well. So you can flip through here. I mean this one is actually a huge huge list. So carried it with me. In some cases, um, well, like I said, I was doing ten a week. This is more than ten, obviously. This paper stayed with me for a couple weeks. It's actually not used too bad for being folded and unfolded. Go to the gym every night. Take this out, learn a couple words, pump some barbells, think about the words, do that over and over a few times. And uh, anyway, let me skip through here to section number two. Please be patient. Aha. So here are the words with the sentences I was telling you about. Pretty big section here. Put the word in Tagalog, English word, wrote some sentences. In the beginning, obviously, I didn't have a lot big vocabulary, so it was mostly English was the sentence, and I threw in the, the Tagalog word, like, water's too big. So I'd say, can I have, in English, and then, th too big, can I have too big. After a while, I started learning more words, started getting the grammar down, and uh, these are different verb usages. You have magpa, um, gosh, what other, there's so many. Maka, in, ma, mag, um, there's just so many things here. So I dedicated a whole section just to try to understand that. Anyway, I could go through all of this stuff forever, but I'll stop right here. Get yourself a binder, start throwing paper in there, carry that paper around with you. You gotta, you gotta just dedicate hours. I was probably doing, I don't know, eight to 12 hours a week would be my guess. That probably, in, Included the movie time, the time that I was sitting down at night watching 30 minutes or an hour show here and there. Just some more stuff. 
And lastly, I guess what I'll show is when I was in the Philippines, I actually decided to buy some school books. Um, this is grade five, very advanced. And let me get back to the ones I, grade four. So these I kind of went through at one of the bookstores. I wonder if it says here now. Don't even know what the bookstore was. National Bookstore, yes, National Bookstore. Very popular, they're all over the place. Level four was kind of where I was. So um, I could understand most of this. And again, this was uh, just spending time at a library or at a coffee shop. I'd have to translate some of this, have someone help me in order to do the lesson plans. So this you're not going to want to do in the beginning. You want to get some of the English conversation, Tagalog books. After about a year or so, it depends on you, where you are, then you can venture into to these books. But Anyway, I guess that's it in a nutshell. Again, I can't just overemphasize vocabulary. Practice speaking. Let people laugh. Let people correct you. Um, don't think anything bad. Don't take anything personally. It's part of the learning process with anything, and uh, got to put in the time. You, you figure you got, you know, everyone's got to put in hours. You see a good, good gymnast, good martial artist. It took years of practice, hours on a weekly basis in order to get there. People say I speak Tagalog good. To me, all it shows is I've been doing it for a long time and I put in a lot of hours. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot for all of you who uh, appreciate the videos. And uh, good luck with learning Tagalog.